Okay, my name is Donald Tolan, and um, I have a disability uh, which has meant that um, I have a lifetime of experience of trying to um, navigate um, the built environment. I can think of one wonderful example in um, Boston. It's called the State Building, which is in the center of, of Boston and has a huge significance in terms of, of, of the story of the United States. Yeah? And uh, uh, I kind of looked at it from the outside and I thought, damn, I'm not going to be able to get in here. And uh, this young woman came out and said, are you trying to gain access? She suddenly constructed in front of my eyes a very simple and basic uh, electronically uh, operated um, uh, lift. Yeah? She took out the four debris and it literally st stuck into a part of the pavement outside which for all intents and purposes could have looked like um, what would have been access for goods to go down into the building. But in fact, it came up and it accessed the front entrance. If you look at what's happened in, 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 in Trinity now, uh, uh, in terms of, 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 of something as basic as cobble, the cobble is still there. You still have the sense of the period and what's, what's beautiful uh, about when you come into Trinity is you have the sense of going back in time in, 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 in so many different spaces and that's, that's, that's very pleasant. I, but the cobble is still there but, but, but people can, you know, I can move across it now without uh, feeling like I'm on a continuous vibrator, you know, bumping me all over the place. I remember protesting outside Ivy House, I've been part of a campaign demonstrating its lack of access and uh, ran into a whole kerfuffle 20 years ago as well around that. Now you look at it and you can go into um, um, uh, the building because of what they achieved uh, from, from, from an access point there. I'm not saying everybody has to go in the same entrance um, uh, uh, when there, people are accessing sites of, 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 of her heritage. But you go in a separate entrance and the building, somebody has to find the key to the separate entrance. And I think that's what people need to think about. It's not just a matter of planning process, build the accessible, uh, preserve the conservation aspect of it, but then lock it or use it as a storage site, or it's where everybody parks their motorbikes and their, their uh, what have you. So it becomes, because you've separated it, yeah, it becomes not perceived as what the public are accessing, because, oh yeah, that's the disabled access. I think an urgency and a consciousness not just for the reasons of attracting uh, disabled or aging uh, tourists or ensuring that citizens here can access those buildings as, as they age, uh, but because it's the right thing to do, yeah? That it is the right thing to do.